to get started here, let me explain what we're doing. We're going to do conditional formatting, which is a great tool for data visualization in Excel. So in this case, we're going to conditionally highlight rows. Now, the first thing you want to do, I've linked below the sample Excel file. Open that up after you've downloaded it, and then click Continue. Okay, so you got the file open. What we've got here is a set of data from a sample company, and each of the rows represents a sale that was made. Uh, it shows the units sold, the cost per unit, and then total revenue that was made. And so in this case, what we want to do is highlight the rows with certain values. You can see as we scroll through here, you can't really gather anything. It's just a lot of data. It's not really something that we can capture. So let's start off with a simple case here. Make sure you're in the Home tab. All right. Now what we want to do is first select our range and we're going to name it. So select all the cells. Once so you've got them selected, click up here in the name box and type formatted cells. And that's going to let us quickly come back to these cells later. Okay, so select it from the drop down, formatted cells. Good to go. Up here, select Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Okay, so they give you some sample rules to use, but we're going to get specific and use a formula. So select the last option, use a formula. And let's pick the selector. I like using this tool. It lets you drag the mouse around certain areas. And we'll start with a simple example. Equals, and we're going to take cell B2, okay, because that's the first unit cell, except we don't want just B2, we want every row in column B. So we're going to remove the dollar sign that locks row 2 and say where that is greater than 75. Pick the selector, pick a format, go ahead and choose a green color to denote that this is a good thing. Say OK, and there you go we can quickly pinpoint all of the high unit sales. Cool, now let's get a little more complicated. What if we also want to see the high cost sales or the high revenue sales? Well, what we would like to do is let the user who's viewing the spreadsheet choose which one they want to see highlighted. Okay, so let's add a new column here, format by, we're going to create a drop down. So for this cell, go ahead and select the cell just below it, Let's give it a border, so drop down and say outside borders, so we know it's selectable. And then we're going to click the data tab at the top, and then choose data validation. Under the allow drop down, select list, let's pick our selector, and the source of this list will be these three headers, units, cost, and revenue. Once you've selected those, Click your selector icon again, say OK, and voila, we have this nice list here. It doesn't do anything yet, but it's there. OK. So what we want to do is link the list as well. OK, we need to reselect our data range, but we've made that easy. We pick the drop down and choose formatted cells. Again, good to go. And we come back to the Home tab where conditional formatting is. Choose conditional formatting, but instead of a new rule, we're going to manage our rules. All right, so here's our one rule. We're, we're seeing it because we're in current selection. Now, if you forgot to select formatted cells, you can always just choose this worksheet to see all your rules. So for now, we choose the rule, we edit, and we're going to use the if formula. I put the syntax for that down below. So we say equals if, and the condition is... Let's choose our selector here. If this cell, G2, keep the locks, is equal to, double quotes, units, double quotes, than, we use a comma for than, then I want you to use this conditional statement for the rule that we've already written. Close it out with a parenthesis, click the selector, say OK, say OK. So you see our formatting went away. That's because units isn't selected. We pick units and we can see. Great, so now we want to add for cost and revenue. OK, 
Okay, so we select the range again, formatted cells, choose conditional formatting, manage rules, edit the rule. Okay, so we've got if g2 equals units, then use this. Else, we're going to start a new if, so this is how you do else if. A new if, if g2 equals quotes cost. Now we're going to use a different conditional statement. In this case, we want c2, but we need to remove the lock on the row, is equal to. Uh, okay, sorry. If C2 is greater than 1750, that's a high range for our cost. And then we could close that one out. Now you can test this out by closing both ifs out, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. So we're going to add one more else if. So if it's not units and it's not cost, then if, parentheses, dg2, click it, equals quotes, revenue, van, comma, we want the statement D2, remove the lock on the row, is greater than 100,000. That's a pretty high range for the revenue for one sale. Obviously this data is pretty ridiculous. So we close out the three parentheses, select the selector, and I've put this formula down below if you just want to copy it in, you don't want to type it. But I'd recommend practicing uh, doing this all without copying it in first. Okay, and then we say OK. Select OK. Now we've got a pretty cool thing here. If it's units, it shows high units. If it's cost, we see all of the high cost rows, 2000, 1800, 2000, or the high revenue, which is the real important one. Bob and Jay, pretty awesome. Of course, these are all random numbers you would see a correlation between your data, which is why this is such a useful tool. Okay, so what have we done? We've created a rule that checks this cell to see which category we want to highlight by, and then it conditionally formats the rows. Go ahead and unhide I through L by selecting both at the top, right-clicking, and choose Unhide. Okay, so there's some keys that I've hidden in here, and we just did the green key. We're going to add another rule, uh, starting with the a very unfavorable range, where units are less than 25, cost is less than 1250, and revenue is less than $60,000. I'm going to let you try this out, and if you get stumped or you just want to see if you did it right, click play. Okay, so here's how we would do the low range. We're going to select our range again here, formatted cells. We're going to add conditional formatting. We're going to add a new rule, or you can manage rules and new rule, either one. Use the formula again. OK, so it's pretty much the exact same thing, except if it's units, we're going to say less than or equal to 25, or less than or equal to 1250, or less than or equal to 60,000. The difference is our format. We're going to choose a red color. For the background, I'm going to choose a lighter red so you can actually see what they're reading. OK. And OK. Cool. So now we can see the high range and the very low range. So obviously this is a bad month, but then things pick up a little bit. That's never very good. OK, there you go. So. At the end of August, we had some great revenue. All right, now I'm going to let you try and add the last range. This is where it's in between 25 and 75, or 1250 and 1750, or 60,000 and 100,000 for the revenue. All right, so you might have been stumped by this one. There's actually two ways to do this. When we add our new rule, let's select conditional format, or select formatted cells. Come up here to conditional formatting and add a new rule. Use a formula. And we select this. OK, so here's your options. You can either 
use an AND statement, I'm going to paste it in, you say if G2 is equal to units, then use this condition. AND says, okay, both of these have to be true. They're ANDed together. B2 has to be greater than 25 and B2 has to be less than or equal to 75. Otherwise, if it's cost, C2 has to be greater than 1250 and it has to be less than 1750. And then we do the same for revenue. So that's going to work for us. All right. Come back here. We'll format that a nice medium yellow color. Ugh, gross. Let's choose a lighter yellow. There we go. Say OK. OK, that worked for us. Cool. So now we can see all the different ranges. Units, cost, and revenue. And, <clears throat> and we see that worked. Now there's actually a simpler way to do this using priorities for our conditional rules. OK, to use priorities, we select conditional formatting again. Oh, forgot to select the range, named range. Okay, conditional formatting, manage rules. Okay, so let's select that mid-range there and edit the rule. Okay, this time instead of anding together, we're just going to say anything less than 75. Okay, and then we come over here, anything less than 1750, we're not going to use the and. Don't forget to delete the second parenthesis. Okay, and over here, if we want to delete this. Now we just want D2 less than, in this case, 100,000. Okay, so let's copy this, and I put this formula down below as well. What this is saying is anything less than that high number. Now, the problem is when we say OK, this is the highest priority right now. So when we say OK, it's going to override all of our less than the low number values. Okay, so it's a simpler formula, but we've run into a problem here. But there's a quick fix. All we have to do is reselect the range, conditional formatting, manage rules. All we have to do is make our low range a higher priority move up so the order is priority okay in the list we say okay and now you see that the low range is more important so it overrides all of those less than 25 in the mid-range rule and that concludes this tutorial i hope you feel a lot better about visualizing data in excel and watching tutorials thanks again